Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial. In this case, I'll be showing you how to convert your HTC One M8 to the Google Play Edition. This requires several um, things already done. You will need to be unlocked and have S off. Uh, you can find that in my previous tutorials. I'll, link, I'll put a link down below. Uh, you also need the HTC drivers installed, as well as the Android Tools folder, which I'll also provide a link in the more info. And also on the device, we need to have USB debugging enabled and also fastboot disabled in the power section down below. Like, just like that. So, without further ado, let's continue in our conversion. So basically what you want to do is that, so is to, we need to go through three steps. We need to change our model ID if we are from a different device, which I'll be doing because, um, I have a Telstra phone here, and we also need to change our carrier ID to one of the appropriate ones listed down here. And also, we will need to, and then after that, we'll just flash the uh, ROM update utility through the bootloader. So first off, you want to go to this link I'll have in the more info down below, and you just want to scroll down and download the stock uh, non-rooted, uh, the stock non-rooted. Run up that utility or the rooted and busy box pre installed on it as well. So you can choose which one you want. Oh, I've already downloaded the stock non rooted one, so that's alright. And now, uh, once you've done that, we can pretty much start. So I'll also take you to this link uh, where you will find all the information you need. So, first off, you're going to make sure that the ADB is working on your computer and with your phone. We uh, we covered this uh, in the rooting tutorial. So once you've got that set up, we want to change our MID to the Unlocked Developer Google Play Edition MID or Model ID. So pretty much, this only uses ADB commands. So you'll have to have your device fully booted up. So all you have to do is plug in your phone to your computer. Alright, so we'll just leave that. Now, we'll just follow the instructions on here, which should be quite easy. So, once you've downloaded the Android Tools folder, just extract it anyway, and on the location where you've extracted it, hold Shift and right click. Oops. Make sure nothing is selected, but Shift, right click into the empty space of the folder, and then click Open Command Window here. Sorry, it's at the bottom. Now we will have this uh, command prompt open up. So, so far, we need to type in ADB shell, which will start the ADB server. I'll just make this a little bit bigger and easier to see. Yep, so once you see the dollar sign, you're in the ADB shell uh, interface. Type in SU for super user to gain root access for the session. Now, you may get a little pop-up on your phone. Oh, you just missed it. Uh, but uh, if you haven't done this before, you, you're going to have a super user pop up in, on the screen. Just press accept. Uh, if you've already done that, then you don't need to worry. Now, this is what we need to do. We need to copy this. It's very important to copy because if you type something wrong, it will probably screw up your device. And we don't want that. So we just paste it in. Hit enter. So now it says it's done. So we can type exit. Exit again. And we'll just clear the screen for so you can see it easily. Easier. Now, after we changed our model ID, all we need to do is go to the um, the bootloader to change our uh, carrier ID, our CID. So just type in adb reboot bootloader. Press enter, and your phone should reboot into the bootloader. I'm just going to turn off the, uh, no I can't, okay I turned it off because it's a bit too bright, anyways, we're going to go to the screen and we can see that our, oh no we can't, but we'll check that our model ID has changed by typing in fast boot get var mid 
and that we do in fact have the 0p6b12000. Uh, that is the correct uh, model ID for the Google Play Edition, so it has worked. So this is when we're going to change our carry ID, so all we need to do is type in fastboot OEM right CID and head over back to the web page with the uh, Google Edition conversion and just copy one of these, preferably I'd use the Google one or the GOGL001 carry ID because uh, I don't know, it suits it more and we just paste that in hit enter it's gonna write it to the um, bootloader and all we have to do now is fastboot reboot dash bootloader so we can refresh all the uh, information so this will uh, wipe your device 100% your internal SD card at least I would take out the external SD card um, just in case so once that you've checked that your external SD card has been taken out, I just took mine out. We can now begin on flashing the ROM update utility so we can fully convert our phone to the Google Play Edition. So from this point, your phone would be in the bootloader, like this, and have the CID changed and model ID changed. You also need security off, of course. So once that's done, all you have to do is type in fastboot OEM reboot. RUU in capitals, just RUU, and it's going to put your phone into this screen here. Just a silver HTC screen. You can just leave that aside, and we'll go ahead and type in fastboot flash zip. And this is where your downloaded RUU will come into hand. All you have to do is so type up the command fastboot flash zip, leave a space there, and just drag it onto the command prompt. As, just like that. So it's going to calculate all the size and start sending the zip over and then um, extracting it and placing it into the places that it needs to place. So this may take a while, but we'll get to the second step soon enough. So that only took a couple seconds, but it said down here, failed remote 90 H root free update, please flash image again immediately. Once you see this, your phone should reboot back into the HTC logo, the silver one. All you have to do is type in the same command. So there's a shortcut on CMD, you press F3 and it will put in the previous command for you. And we'll just press enter again. And this will send the zip up, check everything, and then flash it fully this time. And this will take uh, much longer than the first time we did it. So now you're going to see that it's just finished, it just took over 5 minutes, so that's not bad, and once you see the screen, you're going to see your phone also hung up at this HCC screen with the progress bar pretty much filled. Uh, this is a security feature implemented in the software, so in case there are any error messages on the screen, you can correct them before your phone restarts. So in this case, there were no error messages that I could see, so we'll just go ahead and restart it right now. So we just type in fastboot, because it is still in the fastboot interface, and reboot. That's it. So for a while now, we're just going to watch our FCC1 reboot into the Google Play Edition. Now our phone, or well my phone, is finally booted up into the Google Play, or the setup screen for you know, Google ROMs, or the Nexus phones, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's, that's about it for this uh, video, hope you've enjoyed it. So, this is just me saying on my phone, but anyways, uh, if this conversion worked for you, feel free to leave a like down below, also if this has helped you make a conversion. Uh, yeah, and subscribe to see more videos, I will be posting more on the, about these uh, modifying videos. Because I like doing these, these are quite fun. So thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.